Hey guys, this is Mokshit and in this video, I'll be installing and incorporating Slick Carousel module in my Drupal website to create a slideshow. Slick Carousel module is a powerful, performant solution. It provides us with the ability to create easy slideshows without doing much work. These slideshows can not only consist images, but even text, responsive iframes, videos, geolocation maps, and audio carousels with different aspect ratios and sizes. So now we'll begin the installation process. So the requirements for this slick carousel module are the slick library. This library is API module, the JQ async file and the blazy module. So we'll open them in the new tab. Uh, this is a GitHub repo. We can download the zip file of the source code. Uh, this is a module libraries API and this is also a github repository we can download this zip file and this is also a module so now we'll open our localhost Drupal our Drupal at localhost here we'll go to extend and install new module we'll copy the link address of this module since we are running drupal 8 we'll download the this installation version for drupal 8 i'll copy this link address and paste it here i'll install it So it has started to install. Install another module. We we'll repeat the same same process for Blazy. We'll copy this link address and paste it here. Install it. So it's also started to install and the last module to download is the slick carousel itself we'll copy this link and paste it here and it has also been installed now we'll go to our file explorer and these are the two files which we just downloaded we'll extract both of these files and the other one also Yeah. So now we'll copy both of these extracted folders and go to our Drupal file uh, right here. Here we'll create a new folder called libraries. It has been mentioned in this in the requirements that this slick library the github repository and this jq using file have to be in a libraries folder so i've created the libraries folder and we'll paste both of these files here so now the slick library file should be named as slick and the jq using file should be named as easing so we'll rename these files we'll rename this to slick and the other one to easing okay so our work here is done now we'll go back to chrome and enable the modules which we just installed <coughs> so our modules were 
in this blazy and the blazy UI and libraries slick and slick UI. We'll install all these five modules. And as you can see, all these five modules have been enabled. Now we'll have to go to structure, content types. And here we have two options. I, uh, if we have to uh, place a slideshow in all of our articles or all of our basic pages, we can just edit this content type. But since video i'll be creating a separate content type for the slideshow so for that i'll go to add content type the name can be slideshow uh, uses to create a slideshow okay we can save and manage these fields Now we we'll add a new field. We'll choose a field type called image and let's name it as slide and save it. So the number of images sh uh, should be unlimited. So we can add more than one images to create a slideshow and we'll save these field settings. and save settings so as you can see a new field has been created called slide uh, we we'll, this is fine here now we'll go to manage display and we'll change the label to hidden and the format of this file to slick image so that it recognizes it has an image to create the slideshow now here we can go to settings and in the settings we have many options you can create the option set and the skins uh, the thumbnails the skin of the thumbnail the theme the thumbnail effect we have it horrible or static we can create skins for example if we keep it to none we'll only have the option to swipe it on a touch screen or use a cursor drag if we keep it default or classic uh, we will get two buttons on either side on screen buttons to navigate and we can also keep it to full screen so it occupies the whole screen area full width uh, takes the full width of the screen and so on so i'll keep it to classic we can change the image style for example the size of the image or if you want a geolocation map we can click on this i'll keep it this we can keep the thumbnail effect i'll keep it horrible and then there is a media switcher the thumbnail style the grid large aspect ratio if you want to keep the images to the same aspect ratio i've already edited the images to 16 by 9 aspect ratio so i'll not change it but if you haven't you can do this we can Keep the images as a CSS background, put caption fields, I'll not be keeping any caption. And then there are the image styles. So here it gives us the option of max width or descriptor. So for those who are familiar with CSS, max width is a CSS is a value. So if we set the max width, for example, if I set it to 300, uh, so what it will do that uh, if it is based on the screen size the maximum this image can be sized will be 300 pixels but if the image uh, if the screen size is smaller than it it will scale down the image but not increase it over the given value uh, so i can update this now i'll save this so now we'll go to content to add our new content
then I'll go to add content to create a slideshow we'll click on this new content type which we just created to create a slideshow let's give it technology and this blog have created a slideshow slideshow on the cutting or bleeding edge of tech so this is our body which will be shown and the title so now we have to add the images for that we will add a new file and these are my images one is this it has been added so all, this is alternative text this is used for example uh, when the browser is unable to load the image it will show this text uh, to the users the other is this one it is the photo of the samsung galaxy fold just write fold and the last one is the motorola razor it is also a folding device so now we have added the images the body and the title and now we can save this so as you can see on either sides we have two buttons uh, we can even use the cursor drag we can click on these buttons to navigate and we can even use the arrow keys on our keyboard to navigate and yeah. uh, this is a very basic slideshow but uh, if you want to add more features we can also add it from the settings which i just showed uh, with this module we can create a beautiful and very intuitive slideshows which have a great interface which is very intuitive and easy to use and it also cons uh, it also has many options of inputs for the user so if, for example if you are using a touch screen you can use a swipe feature which i am using right now and also many more things this is a very use useful module uh, it is also fully responsive so for example if i if the screen size is smaller uh, as you can see the slideshow also became smaller along with the images and it can even be integrated with other drupal 8 modules such as views image media or field collection uh, it can also work without any of these modules and it has also some built-in animations such as lazy load and all so in this video i have installed and incorporated the slick carousel module to my Drupal 8 website thanks for watching